everyone, real quick I want to thank sponsor this video being Grammarly. So Grammarly is a digital writing assistant you can start easily for free. Just download the browser extension and sign up for a free account and that's going to help you with basic grammar and spelling. However, what has changed my life, yes, changed my life in the one year that I've used Grammarly is having a premium account. So the premium account has really helped me when I'm writing emails, when I'm writing proposals, not only to work more effectively, but to save time. And that is with Grammarly's vocabulary suggestions. This uses their AI technology, and it really helps me speak more effectively. In addition, Grammarly Premium's clarity suggestions. I need this, I like to ramble on, so this has definitely helped me streamline things and make my overall speech and written materials just way, way stronger and concise. And of course, that's by removing extra words, if I repeat myself, etc. So save time on your work and your emails with Grammarly and start by going to grammarly.com forward slash Joel and that you can sign up for your free account and get 20% off a premium account today to help you save time and work more effectively. So click that link down below, check it out, don't sleep on it, and with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hey everybody, Joel Hans here, and today we are in Hoboken, New Jersey. No, I'm just kidding. We are in Sarasota, Florida, guys. Well, you're having some soon-to-be Hoboken, New Jersey pizza at Solar Zanos. Sol Solar Zanos, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, so for this challenge, basically, it is a very, very, very large pizza. So it's like an extra large meat lover's pizza, all of its fixings and toppings. They call it a Hoboken home wrecker. And then you have five of their garlic knots, which are like big garlic, Dough bread things they're honestly about a uh, 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 pretty big and then they have a meatball and cheese in them so it's like a sandwich so they're basically like five meatball sandwiches and a full big pizza and you only have 30 minutes the hardest part about this challenge is you're only allowed one can of soda guys one can of soda and I'm actually very worried because that is not a lot of liquid for that much bread that much dough that much food so this is gonna be very interesting this is not mine and Dan's first challenge of the day. We actually just came from one right over there. It's literally a hop, skip, and a jump. That being said, once I saw this one and realized there's only one can of liquid, I'm a little worried. But anyway, so yeah, we're gonna go in and see what we can do. If we win, we technically get 60 bucks, so it's $100. You pay 40 bucks. If you win it, you get 100 back, so net gain of $60. That's about it, guys. It's only been beaten once by, I believe, a Nathan Figueroa. So let's go in and see what we can do, have some fun, hopefully not fail this thing, because like very well it could happen. And let's go eat some I guess dough. Let's go. Everyone, so here's the challenge. So we have the extra large, very big meat lovers pizza. And here we have the garlic knot meatball sandwiches. And then the one, we're allowed a bottle of water or a can of pop for a bottle of water. So 30 minutes, guys, it's not a long time. It's gonna be very difficult with just this much liquid. So wish us luck, guys, that's about it. We're doing this for 60 bucks. Why? We'll find out, but let's get going. I wanna do in the pants now. All right, everybody, so uh, 30 minutes. Dan, ready to rock? We're ready to rock. Okay. All right, well, let's get started. We'll say only one water bottle. That's crazy. One water bottle. All right, All right well, what do you say to get started? Count of like 10, 9, 8, 7, well, I said count, 6, why not? <laughs> 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. Right, Thank let's you. Go. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're here at Solar Zanos, one of the Solar Zanos in Sarasota, Florida. So here there's actually like a number of different Solar Zanos, um, and interestingly enough, at, at least a couple of different locations they have different food challenges. So this challenge I only know is offered at this very specific location we were at. And then at one of the other Solar Zanos we looked into, they had a totally different food challenge, um, which was very interesting. So kind of cool. And I mean, that's even still within the same city. So I'm assuming maybe they're independently owned or different, owned by different you know, people or for whatever reason, they have different food challenges. So you can go to multiple locations and technically do different food challenges. Here are my good friend, Mr. Dan Hero, taking on this version of the Solar Zano uh, Pete's Challenge, which was absolutely crazy. So yes, we are on the quest for a $100 prize, being essentially actually only a $60 net gain because you pay for the pizza challenge regardless, which is 40 bucks. So you have the extra large uh, meat lovers pizza, and then you have all those bread garlic knot things, which were very interesting. Apparently that is a pretty common or popular thing. It was my first time ever having a garlic knot or a bread knot like that, 
um, especially with like a meatball in it. And so I'll kind of tell you my thoughts on them a little bit more. Again, this comes from somebody who's not used to them. Not a lot of liquid, that's what's crazy about this. So now the main difficulty of the challenge. Well, it came with only being able to have the one can of soda or the one bottle of water. I went with a bottle of water, I put one of my uh, Hawaiian Punch flavor packets in it, but I did not know what I was getting myself into. So this was mine and Dan's second challenge of the day. And if you're not familiar, a second challenge day is always more uh, difficult, it's always more uncomfortable, and there are a few different defense mechanisms your body uses to prevent you from eating more when you're full. One being you produce less saliva, hence why when you're in a really big food challenge or as a food challenge progresses, generally you have to increase your fluid, your liquids to actually force things down. Well, being the second challenge of the day, this was already in effect. So our bodies didn't want to eat and it was going to start throwing uh, its natural defense mechanisms at us to prevent us from basically eating more, which made this all so much more difficult. In fact, guys, this is one of the hardest food challenges I had of the year and this very well could be my first food challenge loss. Yes, I'm serious, guys. This challenge is so difficult. I found it so difficult under the circumstances um, that, like I said, you're really going to have to tune in and watch because this is this challenge was like i said honestly it was so 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 difficult it is a very difficult challenge because of the lack of water it's about three minutes in guys luckily there's some grease on the pizza thanks my friend so the pizza itself was really good i liked it um it was very 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 salty again which makes you want to drink more liquid um, and just all that dough it, usually i would use a lot of liquid to eat the dough to get it down um, because it takes a lot of chewing, it takes a lot of uh, wetting before you can really essentially consume you know, or swallow dough effectively, especially when um, those garlic knots, those, they were very well done um, and very crispy. So again, two kind of aspects or pieces, you know, just dough, just everything on this plate required generally would uh, like a lot of liquid and, and or they encourage you to consume more liquid. Um, I will say I definitely did a very poor job um, even to this point of uh, uh, saving my liquid and or really trying to space it out. Uh, I was trying to get as much of the pizza down because I figured I had more moisture, um, but I was still using too much water for sure. I'm not gonna lie, you guys are doing pretty good. Woo! Thank you. Another mistake I was making, it's just because I generally uh, do pizza challenges this way, it's my preferred way to kind of save the crust. Like, I'm not a crust person, so usually I just save it for last. However, in this uh, situation again it was definitely a big mistake um, because it like it would just come back to bite me I should have tried to utilize a little bit of the moisture in the pizza to just try to get it down get it done um, I was even like oh maybe I'll just dunk them a little bit it'll be wet anyway be much more but again another strategic mistake that you know in retrospect I would not recommend um, even though technically the liquid when I dunked it did not go to waste I do think it was more effective to actually just drink it out of the bottle for swallowing. Have you tried the notch yet? No. <laughs> About six minutes in, I am saving my crust. I may not. I may regret that. But we got all the knots left and two slices of pizza. <laughs> If you're like me and never grew up with a garlic knot, um, basically it's like a meatball sandwich with pizza dough on it. So I don't know, almost kind of like a calzone in a way. It was definitely very interesting. Um, I think they would be better like if you had extra marinara, extra sauces, maybe butters or something to dip them in, um, just to kind of you know add more flavor and moisture to them. <laughs> what are you saying? Putting out some Jesus music. I need Jesus today. It's Sunday. So it was by this point that I really did start to struggle, and I'm gonna walk you through it a bit. Best of luck. So as I was mentioning earlier, my body's defense mechanisms already didn't want me to be consuming more food. I was very full and it didn't want to produce more saliva, it was trying to stop me in every capacity from eating more food. So I'm going to hop back here in a moment and talk to you a little more. How we doing guys? Woo! 
And in the meantime, you can watch me struggle, you can watch me nearly die, and like I said, guys, this challenge is just crazy. 19 minutes, 30 seconds, you guys are doing good. By the way, for me to this point in the video, first off, thank you so much for watching. You are not a skipper. I really appreciate you. But let's play another trick on all them skippers out there. Let's comment down below. Oh my gosh, there was so much blood or something along those lines. There you go, guys. Let's do it right now. Oh my gosh, there was so much blood. So it was at this point here that I was really, really, really starting to struggle. Um, I was just having such a hard time swallowing everything, and it was quite, it was a little frustrating because it's like I had the room, normally I would have the ability to eat this food, but it was the first challenge I've ever done which had such a limited liquid, and or like I couldn't just, you know, wash the food down, I couldn't just drink it down, I couldn't just eat it like I normally would. So it was extraordinarily difficult, and I had to start uh, kind of using scientific methods to try to get it down. 17 minutes in guys, this is killing me. I get these crusts down, but those are really hard, but... <laughs> Better keep busy. Small bites to get it down. <laughs> I was very much at the end of my liquid by this point, and with that much dough left, I really was thinking I was going to fail at this point. <laughs> But just as my body was trying to prevent me from eating, I figured I could trick it into allowing me to do so. Uh, 11, 11, 11, 25. 11, 25. Got it. I'm having a very hard time swallowing it. And so with nothing else to lose, I was willing to try anything, so this is exactly what I did. Can you open this up for me? Yeah. You just pour it right here. I just see something in my mouth to get the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only guy I've ever seen eat sugar to make him <laughs> more hungry. <laughs> he would die in a desert. We need to do this. We do this. Yeah. 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 So I poured out one of my Hawaiian Punch flavor packets as it's very sour and it's very sweet, both of which help produce saliva. So just as if you're an individual with dysphagia, dysgeusia, xerostomia, like medically defined swallowing issues or lack of saliva, these are tricks that you would try to use. Oh, you got it now, bro. Got it. Got nine minutes, you got it. Two and a half slices, two and a half crust. So whether it be chewing gum, eating sour candies, etc., or in this case, eating sour powder. Just kicking my butt, guys. We're almost done. 
I figured it would help produce uh, saliva, help increase my saliva production, and it really did. When I poured this out, I started utilizing it. It was a night and day difference. Um, I'm talking like I, I was at 18 minutes in, I thought I was going to fail. There is no doubt about it. But this gave me a little bit of second hope. Last one. Attaboy. Eat it. How much time? You got 727. You're good. You're thirsty? Yep. Nope. Little seven. Gotta savor. Gotta savor. Get that down. Get that guy and get it with a canteen. <laughs> <laughs> Desperate times call for desperate measures, but as I've said, I'm always ready to die, do or die, and this day, Hawaiian Punch came to the rescue. Trying to get that last one. <laughs> the last one. <laughs> 24 minutes. Get it down. Yeah, neither one of you guys are allowed to use the bathroom. Done. And we're done. Oh my gosh. Alright, 24 minutes-ish. That was actually a lot harder than I expected. Alright, but I hope you enjoyed that video. Hell of a challenge for that. We get a net gain of $60, so that's pretty cool. So until next time, happy then you're happy eating. Don't do what we do, really don't do this, this is a choking hazard. But uh, the food is really good, I'll give it that. So everybody, thank you so much. Enjoy the video. And a bit of a day. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day